Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be drawing Batman from Batman vs Superman the movie, uh, which we recently watched and uh, we actually thought it was awesome. What did you think, Oliver? It was awesome! No way. This is my jam. This is also my jam. Everything, Everything is awesome. awesome. Everything, Everything is cool. Great harmony. I don't want to sing the song. So what are, we're going to draw what today? Batman. Batman, right? And he's going to be wearing his what? Suit. His arm, full armor suit? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do full armor Batman. But is this gonna be the cute Batman or the normal Batman? Cute! We're gonna do the cute Batman. Alright, so let's get started with that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's get started. We're gonna be drawing Batman, the cute version from Batman vs Superman, mm -hmm. right? Yay! So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the head. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. go ahead and do a circle for the head. Then when you draw it, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Or as Batman would say, take it easy. Let's go make a circle for the head. Looks good. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make eyes. Okay? So the eyes are going to be um, they're gonna be like the intimidating Batman eyes. Even though this is a cute Batman, he's only cute because we're drawing him small with a big head. But his eyes are gonna be the intimidating ones. So go ahead and make one line like this. Okay, make another line like that. And I want you to draw two lines that are parallel to each other. Parallel means they go same direction. And I want you to close off that eye just like that. Looking fantastic. Alright, the next one, the next thing we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to draw another eye, draw a line first. This Batman, he's going to be looking off to the right. Draw a line like that. Great. And then I want you to draw a line just above it, just like that. And then a line down. Great. Okay. Your Batman is looking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is the mouth, okay? So we're gonna be we're gonna first draw a line, diagonal line going down like that. Yeah. Now He's wearing, this is the armored Batman, so he's going to be wearing the, the helmet, right? Okay, so then the next line we're going to draw is the one that's kind of pointing towards a little slightly downwards. You see how the line is going downwards? It's following that line too as well, the one just above it. Great. You might want to draw it a little bit further towards the middle, a little bit more. Boom. Okay, great. Boom. All right, then do another line towards the other eye, just like that. Great. Let's draw the line down, just like that. And we're going to go back to the left side. Draw a line there. Do a short one. Don't do it too long. Because what we're going to do is, yep, perfect. We're going to do the chin protective part. So you Two little lines just like that. One on the left, one on the right, and it the one on the right should be past the midpoint to the top where the where it dips down, which is a nose protector. Alright, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line just across to connect them. And then another line right there off to the right. And the nice thing about this here is that we're going to color all this in, so if you kind of mess up a little, that's fine. You can kind of fix it up a bit because we're going to be coloring it all in, right? Mm -hmm. Great. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to draw the bat ears. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a line um, up like that. And then diagonal like that. Now, on the new Batman, in this new Batman vs. Superman movie, he has small bat ears, unlike the other Batman movies with big bat ears. So do another one there. 
And we're gonna be coloring this all in, so you won't even see this guideline, but we're gonna do the coloring at the end. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is his mouth, and he's gonna be the grumpy looking Batman, just like that. I'm Batman, and I'm grumpy. Yeah. All right, so next, we're gonna do the shoulder pads, okay? This is where it gets a little bit complicated. The rest of the body is gonna be a little bit tougher because he's got all this cool looking armor. But we're gonna try to make it cute and simple, all right? So, when, since, when's Bat, since when is Batman cute, right? Mm -hmm. Batman cute? Mm -hmm. Cute. Do I look cute? <laughs> Batman is never cute. Wonderful, he was a baby and he wore his armor. He was a bat baby. <laughs> bat babies are not cute. <gasps> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, do the shoulder pad. So the shoulder pad cool. is gonna be. We're gonna start here on the left side of the on the left side of the um, of the head. We're gonna do. Um, a half C facing down, just like that. Oh, oh! <laughs> and if you mess up, that's fine. If you kind of I, like I did here, but it's good. It's all good because I'm gonna be coloring it in. It's gonna get colored in. All right. So the the next part is, as you see, it's a half C, or I'm sorry, not a half C. It's a C facing down, or a U facing down. Yeah, but it's um, well, uh, that, no, that is a C, Oliver. That's a C, but it's just facing down, just like it's an upside down thing. Or oh, half up, yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna kind of turn it into a upside down crescent moon by doing one of these here. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and make it a little bit lower, just like that. Okay. Let's go from here. Draw a line from here to here, and then from here to here, connect those, okay? That way it looks more like a moon. And then you need to connect this here. No, it still looks great. Because remember, we're, we can color this in, okay? So, and like I said, later on, I'm gonna, I'll show you the parts to color in, and the shoulder pad is definitely one of those parts that we're gonna be coloring in, okay? All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little mini crescent moon just underneath it. Yes, sir. Um, make another line just underneath it so you can make it clear. Perfect. Great. And just for the sake of showing it to you guys, I'm going to go ahead and color the, the uh, shoulder pad here. It's going to get colored. You can color yours in, Oliver. And that way you guys could see clearly what we just drew. Okay, great. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna um, do a little line that's gonna be going across, but we're not gonna tie it. We're not gonna close it like this one right here. We're gonna do a little line that goes across like that. And what we're drawing right now is a fist that's pointing towards you. It's it's actually aiming towards you. It's gonna be his fist, and he's gonna be aiming towards you. Okay. Then we're gonna draw another little line like that. Yeah. Batman's not punching yeah, yet. Yet. <laughs> no, it's because he, he's just a paper writer. And he'll punch through the paper. <laughs> Alright, so then uh, what we're going to do next is, let me see, yeah, great. We're going to do the knuckles to the fist and we're going to draw that whole fist together. So, we want to leave some room for the thumb. So when we do the knuckle, we're going to do about right there. That should do it. Batman is never tired. Why? Then another one right here. And another one right there. Probably. Or it's just probably because he's awesome. Great. Uh, so that what we're going to do next is we're going to be drawing the fingers, which is going to be, let's do two little lines just like that between the circles. Yes, sir. Great. And then we're going to draw another line up here 
we're gonna kind of curve it into that first line we drew. Draw another one to curve it into the next line. Then lastly, we need a line just below it here to curve in. Great. Now we got we have to do the uh, the thumb. Go ahead and do the thumb. And as you can see, we left that space between that last line I drew just above it so that we can have that fist. Okay? That looks great, Oliver. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna close this in, close this in, and now we have Batman's fist in acting. Great. No. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the next shoulder pad. The next shoulder pad is gonna be a little curved line just like that. We're doing a curved line because his chest is sticking out. He's got a big hand. Then that's great, because then the bigger the hand, the bigger the P-O-W, pow. Pow! All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is close up with one line going up and then one line going across. Close up the shoulder pad. And because we colored the other one, we can just go ahead and color this one right away. Okay? Great. You're gonna draw just a small little tiny line, just below it. Small little line, just like that. Next thing you're gonna do is draw another line across, just like that. That's his R. Okay? Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start drawing his fist. So, we're gonna draw one line here and leave some space because we're gonna, um, between this line and this curve, so we have to still do the thumb just like how we did it over there. So, put that little line right there. Okay? Then you're gonna do another line. No, it, it needs to be the same size. It should be the same size. And then you're going to do one more line. Great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close this one up and this one up, just like how we did it last time. And then we're going to draw a line curve just like that, a J. And just like the other one, we're going to do the circles. Now leave some gap between your line and the circles. The, these circles are your knuckle protectors, the knuckle guards. Leave a gap or a space. Great. Looking good, Oliver. Looking good. The bigger the fist, the bigger the pow! Alright, so then next what we're going to do is we're going to draw the thumb just like we did. Yes, sir. That's right. Alright, then we're going to close that in. We're going to draw a line from here to here. Okay. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I would recommend you draw this circle just a little bit bigger like that so we can close in the knuckles and we can color those knuckles in in a moment, okay? Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go for the rest of the body, alright? Batman's looking off to the right so we need to draw a line from here to here. Gonna close it in just like that. I'm gonna draw another line right there. Kind of like what? Tabs. Ah. Go ahead and draw an upside down rigid U. Great. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a line just across his body like this. 
see that line? And then we're going to do another one right there, like that. that so now you have this chest protector, okay? So what we need to do next is we need to draw one line going down here, and another line going down here. Actually, this line going down, yes, and then yes, a line going down just like that. Great. Yes, sir. That's great. And we're going to draw one line going down here and another line going down there. Sir. Then what we're going to do is we're going to close these up. All of them. And the one in the middle. Yes, sir. Alright, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add these lines here. And basically you're just gonna outline the outside, you're gonna outline it in the inside. And then I want you to draw draw one line across like that. Perfect. Alright, the next thing we're gonna do is this belt. Now, what's interesting is it, he has a utility belt, but I have no idea how he can open it because on, when he's wearing his armor suit, his gloves are so, his fists are so big. So I, I don't know how he gets his hands inside the utility belt, but he has one, so let's go ahead and make one. So the one in the middle is gonna be big, okay? The new Lego Batman movie? Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. We're gonna draw some little blocks here to left and right. And we're gonna do it across. So as I do it, you can go ahead and do it too. Yeah, that new Lego Batman movie is gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm excited about that. So you're gonna make a bunch of them. I put one, two, three, four on this side, one, two, three on the right side, okay? Great. All right, now we're wrapping it up. Now it should get easier. The legs are not gonna be tough at all. The legs should be very easy. Yes. So what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to do just like on the last video, the hops video. Daddy. Yes, sir. Do you think Batman would look odd without his um Batman would look, I don't think he would look odd without his cape. I think he would look cool still. Yeah, but he uses his cape to fight because he uses it to hit people and to hide. So on this one, we're going to do an upside down knee. Yeah, he uses his cape to fight, um, to hide. He, do he uses it for a variety of things. He, he actually, I, I would think it's, it's like a, a necessary tool. <clears throat> Alright, so then the next thing we're going to do is close his foot up here by drawing two little lines so we have his boots. Then on this one, I'm going to draw his leg going outwards and his boot is going to go out just like that. His big boot. His big feet. Just like that. Yes, sir. Alright, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is draw his boots. So his boots are going to be like little U's with wings on the side. It still looks great, man. It still looks great. And you might want to connect this doll. Yes, sir. You might want to connect his leg. We're going to be coloring the certain parts here black, and you're going to see which ones. Yep. So then the next part is you're going to draw... Oh, wait. I'm jumping ahead of you. You still got to finish this part here. You got to do the U. 
great. And then here you're gonna do a line across and down, just like that. And then to the right. See, your Batman looks cool because it looks like he's walking towards you. Like he's a 3D Batman. You have a 3D Batman. He's just like walking towards you. My Batman's just still. All right. You're gonna draw. You're gonna double down on these lines. Well, you're gonna say this kind of three to two. This is um, like a one from the other. Yeah. I'm gonna double down on those lines, and then we're gonna do one across his boots, just like this. Yes, sir. And then one across like that. Then the last thing we're going to do is this cape, okay? Perfect, yes, sir. Alright, the last thing we're going to do is this cape. The cape is going to go down all the way to his feet. And then we're going to go semi-circle. You can do spikes. Yep. Okay, for these spikes. And you're gonna go across the whole side. Okay. There you go. Yep. I just I connected the the cape. Great. So let's go color it in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna color the we're gonna color the helmet. Okay. You're gonna color, yeah. Well, your Batman is walking in front of your cape. See, he's not tripping on it, or else he's gonna have an accident. I just tripped on my cape. Cape. <laughs> cake. Cake. I said cake. <laughs> <laughs> I find everything funny. Oh, man, your laugh is making me. It's actually a pretty good laugh. Batman stepped on the cake and then tripped on his cape. <laughs> So what you're gonna do is you're gonna color the uh, this part right here, the center utility belt, okay? And then you're gonna co color every other utility belt. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Can you do a pattern? Sure, you can do a pattern if you want. At this point, you can get a little bit more creative. But Batman likes black and gray, right? Eh, he sometimes goes with dark blue or like a lighter blue too. I only work in black, and sometimes very, very dark gray. Do we have to draw every single one? No, it's every other one. Just like that. You don't want to color on black or else you won't be able to see the detail. Now his knuckles. Go ahead and color the boots. Boots, but don't color all of it. No. Color, yep. Don't color into the lines that we made. Color the outside of those lines. I'm Batman. And I have stripes. I like stripes. All right, and we're also gonna go ahead and color this part right here. Um, that one? This part right here. I think that looks cool. And the last part we're gonna color is his head. Is his head. Now I didn't see it. Normally, Batman has his bat sign on his chest. But I didn't see it on his armor. And I tried researching it and couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Don't we see the movie? Yeah, we saw the movie, Oliver. We did, I didn't see it on the movie. While watching the movie, I didn't see it, and I didn't see it online too as well. Uh, when I was doing looking up pictures of Batman from the movie. Yeah, if they had a. So you watch the movie, who do you think would really, really win? Because in a movie, well we don't want to spoil it, we're not going to spoil it. Yeah. We're not going to say who 
wins in the movie, but Melody. who do you think would really win in the movie? I mean, in, in real life, if Batman were to be, face against Superman. Mm -hmm. Superman. Me too. Superman would totally devastate Batman. Now, if Batman was like hunting down Superman, he could probably catch him by surprise and possibly defeat him. Alright. Doing great, Oliver. No 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 Batman. That looks great. Now while he finishes up, I'm gonna see if I can get some... Oops, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get some... some yellow. I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, yellow marker here, which I just found. So, what we're gonna do next is, I think we should oh, okay. definitely draw his, name. draw his name, or write his name, and highlight it with yellow just to give it a nice, cool, signature look to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, write his name out. So here's what you're gonna do, Oliver. You can uh, you can either copy me or you can just write his name out, okay? I'm gonna kind of do the cool version of it. Yeah. Batman. So Oliver and I have started out a new thing, and if you guys, uh, yeah. if you guys for when, if you guys post, uh, leave a comment below on what we should draw next. And you can also, um, if you win. Well, yeah. If if you if you uh, post below and you win, if you pick a winner. Um, you'll get one of our drawings. So what you'll have to do is you post an idea for us, something for us to draw next. Mm -hmm. And if we pick you, you're the winner. And you get a picture. And you'll get one of these drawings from us. Yeah, you can go ahead and start coloring. I'm almost done myself. Batman. Batman. So we're just gonna color it in real quickly. Yellow. Batman. Oopsie. That still looks great, Oliver. Batman would definitely still like it. I would I accidentally said Batman. Batman. There you have it. Batman. <laughs> so what you're gonna want to do um, after you're done there, Oliver, is let's sign it. And, uh, oh, you gotta you gotta put the a little line there in the middle for the end. Oh no, my bad. Yeah, you made a mistake. It's a M. It's an N, not an M. It would be Batman. I see. I see. You were trying to fix it. Got it. <laughs> cool. There you go. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sign it. And.
today's date. Three, that, sixteen. All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, like we said, if you guys uh, please leave comments below, um, and uh, we're looking forward to the ideas you guys have for um, on what we should draw next, right, Oliver? All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Batman out. Wait, wait, wait. Batman back in. Forgot to drop the mic.